Hi, uh, welcome to my Let's Play of Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Uh, I've just finished um, the first Max Payne, so I thought I'd jump straight into the second one. So, here we go. edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Star two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. continue. Oh, hey, I can see mirrors now. That's cool. Max, what's going on? What? Max, about what happened. I will fuck up. Max Payne! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! I... I don't get it. Is this? Oh, okay. Hello. Anyone there? Okay, so is this after the last game? Because I thought this was just as his wife died. Maybe it's after. Uh... Gotta say, I kind of missed what the old character. What do you want from me? There's a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Well, that sounds lovely, Max, honestly. Oh. Someone's dead. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him. Is he standing? Oh, that's the one where he fell. He's standing on something. He slipped. <laughs> <laughs> that fool. Oh my god. That was hilarious. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Winter What is going on? 
I have no idea what's going on right now. Can I search these for like meds and stuff? I don't think so. Doesn't seem to be anything in them. Alright, well, there we go. Nope, nothing. Fantastic. Um, reception? Oh, that's a horrible picture. Birds in the trees and children playing. Ah, the Pink Bird Mental Institute. Okay. Mirror's men pretended to be hospital wardens. The flesh. The flesh. Oh, is that, is that Max from the previous game? I don't know. I don't know. Looks like him. Yeah, yeah it is him. I thought she was his wife. The flamingo was with him. I'm pretty sure it was his wife. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil, joined him. She has died her girlfriend. What the hell is this? <laughs> I've killed them all. Stay tuned. Alright, yeah. That was that was odd. <laughs> like Weird. I kind of wish they'd used the same um, character, like the same person to animate for Max, because I like the way he looked. Hey! Alright. Miss Jim. You're not going anywhere. Jim Gordon. What Batman. happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her! No, I can't. Whoa, okay. Oh, bullshit! What the hell is going on? What the? They were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. I know it I I'm unsure if this is just after the last game or before the last game. I had tried to run from it. Edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. Winterson? Is that is that the woman from the last game? I honestly can't remember. I can't remember her name. <laughs> a false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle. Like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I actually have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With oh, okay. his influence, ridiculously, I right. emerged from my history of violence unscathed. It's a after hero. the first game. Right. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. Like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. I'm sure they'll turn up just as I've cleared the place out. I'll go up here. <clears throat> I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. All right. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Sounds, uh, sounds fun, Max. Sounds fun. <laughs> Please! Oh dear. Oh, oh, has he been lured there? Is this supposed to be us? <laughs> Stranded in the dark and violent night. What? Dick Justice, a lone, hard-boiled fugitive cop. Oh my God! <laughs> for the murder of his wife, on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld in the city's heart of darkness. The rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven had decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation like my Anyway, I get it, dude. I lived for it, okay? Oh. NYPD! Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. Oh, boy. You the know, way... officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around <laughs> a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Oh, Detective. yeah. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit. What do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> then be a cop if you're unsatisfied with your job. <laughs> if you think it's so easy. After you, detective. Oh yeah, that's not that's not weird, right? That's not weird to say that crap. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Well, you a crap, huh? The perps were masquerading as cleaners. There's a floating bottle right there. It doesn't look like it. But it was. It's not anymore. Alright. Oh, Ragnarok. Okay. Go this way then. This is where the blood trail goes. I'm not a 
violent man by nature, but it pisses me off more than anything when they do. <laughs> I'm not a violent man. After killing someone, <laughs> it's like, okay. For some reason, I just don't believe you. Oh, here we go, in here, right? I'm gonna just. No, okay. Okay, I'll run up the crew. Okay, buddy. Sure okay. Bodies, blood, prints, air, mags, empty breath. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. It's a shame I could use a new gun. Machine gun, maybe. The answering machine had a message on it. I know. One sec. Okay. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So <laughs> leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about. But keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happens to you. Anything comes up. Just whistle. And I'll be there. You have no new messages. Alright then. Wait, did I just... Come in this way. Ooh. Are you sure I just hit someone? In here? Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. Uh, what do you want? We we can NYPD, drop them! Oh God, no! Dude, like Max. all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Well, I mean, I didn't go anyway, dude. Okay. Like, I mean, you could have just shot them. Like, see, he has no problem killing them. Instantly. <sighs> Alright then. Woo! I'm dying. I am straight up dying. I'm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I forgot the bloody save. That'll teach me. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. All right, fantastic. <laughs> uh, oops. Please, All right. Let's get you this know, part. officer, you cops got it. All oh yeah, I forgot I got slow boat. the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess brains and guts and shit. Detective. Right. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I just shoot him. The perp's disguise didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the I didn't think I'd be able to shoot him! Killers. Oh my god, that was like quite crazy the way he did that. <laughs> Alright. I'm 
Ich I'm not a violent man. I just like to kill a man. Hoffman's waiting in the van. The hardware's been bad. As soon as the guys get Jackie Brown in there taken care of, we're done. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. Hello, it's Vladdy boy. How's it going, eh? <laughs> Let's just skip this. Oh my god, one shot kills both. Epic. Save. We need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. Just wait for them both to come in. Hey guys! Woo! This way. some skill dude oh yeah whooping dude that was awesome what I didn't know you I didn't know you could do that type of stuff Max come on come on <gasps> finally Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. Alright. She's probably gone now, so... We can probably hide behind these. No, we can't. It doesn't matter. My backup had arrived. But the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. All right, let's go kick their ass then, dude. Oh, I love how I can move normal speed. That's so great. It's like... I love it. I love it. I love that. That's a really awesome feature. Oh my! <laughs> oh! Okay. Wow. Never. Man, there's a lot of bodies. Jeez. Get it! Stop! Okay. I'm okay, damn it. So, so hey, what, we're the, working together on this. Was the beginning of the game, the end of the game, and after you the end of the game? And, okay. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gates. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. 
She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company in Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Mert! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall. Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. 